Hi, beautiful soul family. We made it to 2021. So let's just congratulate ourselves for being here, which is really exciting. I actually pulled an angel card for the message that I just wanted to share. I felt really called to share it. And then I pulled an oracle card. I like to mix things up. And so the the angel card that I pulled is Archangel Jophiel. So the message is actually about listening to yourself, understanding that this is a time of patience. The direct message is that your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. The other card that I drew, which is really beautiful, is called Think With Your Heart. And I really do believe that the moment we plant a seed of awareness in our consciousness about what we want, what we're dreaming, it then starts to orbit around us because I believe the universe is conspiring to bring us the things that we desire. I wish things could happen overnight, but I do feel like on a very practical level, we are going to move into realizing just how much fun it can be to manifest. And when we're thinking with our heart, what that means is we're using this heart chakra to guide us instead of our head. And our head is going to want things to happen really quickly. It's going to play that should, would, could game and thinking that we should be doing things faster. Things need to come to us at a certain time. When we're doing things with our heart, we're open, we're trusting, and we're understanding that everything is already working out for the best case scenario. It's our job to continue to show up and to continue to nurture right? Nurture the seeds that we planted of our dreams. So the message that I have as we're moving into the rest of the year is to really trust yourself. And if you find yourself in doubt and hesitation, go back to your original dream. It might be really helpful to write things down so that way you have that reference to go back to. So it helps you stay in your center because there can be a lot of distraction out here, but I want you to stay focused on what you know is for you. And then, of course, when you're thinking with your heart, you're taking action in the direction that best serves you and your goals, which is not a selfish thing to do. It's so in alignment because what you're doing then is being an example to other people of an individual who really does follow their dreams and who also doesn't give up. And that's such a beautiful message, right? It takes a very strong heart to stay open in this world. It takes a very compassionate person to believe that they can receive even with all of the noise externally. So I hope that this message supports you on your journey. Blessings.